All right, so today we're going to do Grafton technique on um, on this young man here who has scoliosis and costochondritis. Um, so what I want to show you is how, how we do that. So let's have you pull the chair up a little bit closer. Good. Yeah. All right, so you get it on both sides, right? So we're going to start, but, but it's a little bit worse on this side, correct? So um, start here. So we're just going to put a little um, emollient here. Um, and we're going to go along the fibers of uh, the pec major and the pec minor, okay? And the purpose, now you know, um, you may, you, I don't know if you've seen me do this before. We haven't done this before on you. So what this is going to do is it's going to cause some redness. Um, is, there is a small possibility of a little bruising, but I'm going to go easy on you today, so that's not going to happen, you know? Right. But, you know, if you're someone that bruises easy or anything like that, um, that's a possibility. Um, and it's going to get red. It's going to cause ecchymosis. That's fine. It's going to increase blood flow to the area, and it's going to help move the pec muscle better. So in a muscle, there's fibers in there. There's interstitial fibers. Um, that um, they call it fuzz, um, but those fibers are when you don't stretch them, even for a day, they start to um, get some viscosity in there, and they're not, they don't move as easily across the layers. And there's fluid in between different layers under the skin into the muscle tissue. So um, we're gonna sort of melt that up a little bit, get that moving get rid of that viscosity and get the, the layers moving better with this. You're gonna feel, when I do this, you might feel whether or not and stuff, okay? Right. So a lot of um, practitioners not only use this, to be honest with you, to save their hands, uh, for those of you watching this, you know, that's, a pop, that, that's certainly something, but also I can feel it enhances my hands. See right there? Mm -hmm. You feel that yeah. compared to this? Yeah. Okay, so I can feel that, but I can't feel that necessarily with my hands as well. So it kind of enhances my hands too. Can you feel that right there? Yeah. So we're going to go away. I'm near his SC joint. We're going to, I'm pulling away from it. So we're going in different patterns because we want to pull away. And then there's ribs in here too. So um, we're going to do about five to six sessions of grass in here with the adjustment. You okay? Yeah. Is that painful or uh, not too bad? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. And the pec fibers go like this, the pec mine are down like that more. So um, again, I'm gonna go in different, different strokes, different patterns here. You okay? Mm -hmm. You feel that right in there? That way I'm able to get in there and his, his um, pec minor down here out more towards the uh, armpit. You feel that right in there? Yeah. So this will get better over five or six sessions. You know. And that's what this does. It enhances the practitioner's hands. It, um, it helps to get the tissue moving better, increases range of motion, decreases pain. Okay, so you can see you're pretty red there, okay. Um, we're gonna have you turn around and sit right here for me, if you could. Mm -hmm. Facing this way, facing me. Mm -hmm. So um, we're gonna go in here and um, loosen up some of the paraspinals. Levator scapula right there. Do you have any tenderness in there? Uh, it's tight. Tight? Not tender? Okay. And then, um, because today he was complaining of pain in the SC joint where the clavicle meets the sternum right here. And I checked that. That's why we loosened up the pec muscle. 
but the joint itself was fine. We're gonna check for a cervical rib next for him to see if the cervical rib is out or not, right? You know what the cervical rib is? Cervical is your neck, right? Rib, right here, is um, the first rib. And some people actually don't have a cervical rib. Um, okay. All right. And now I want you to um, stand up, face me here, and do that motion that, that pro provokes it and aggravates it. How's that feel? We haven't even adjusted you yet, okay. So um, go ahead, let's have you lay on, um, put your shirt back on, and lay on your stomach. Okay. A little tender right there? No? Okay. So, you have scoliosis, right, to the left, right? So you've got a lot of different stretches and things that you have to do. And that's why you get this flare-up from time to time with your, you know, your costochondritis. Because the scoliosis you've had since you were 11 or 12 years old. We need to reverse that, right? And I know you're working on that. You're doing your stretches. Um, I'm going to resend you the scoliosis stretches, okay? So go ahead and take a deep breath in. So you have a levo scoliosis, which again is to the left, levo left. Dextro is a right scoliosis. Yeah, and blow all the way out. I'm gonna make sure a chiropractor, when he adjusts you from up here, that he doesn't do it from the right side, pushing it further, you know? Mm -hmm. there, there are techniques you can do it from the right side, like right now I'm about to, but it's a little different watching. Deep breath in. Okay, and lay on your back. We're going to check for a cervical rib. So the cervical rib was, you know, I was talking about that earlier. It's right up in here. Some people um, end up subluxating it by like carrying a heavy bag on their shoulders. And you don't have pain up in here, do you? No. Okay, and relax here. And take a deep breath in. Good, blow out. You're gonna be a little sore here today, okay? All right, go home, take it easy. So, you know, scoliosis obviously is the underlying cause, yeah. And you want to, yeah, open that yeah, right that, side up. I'm in bed, I'm not late like this. Like this, like this. Like, yeah, like, that hurts. Like, Maybe that hurts. Like, so then leave your arm down. Yeah, so um, I do a scoliosis stretch where you lean over and then you stretch over the towel, right? Yeah. Don't put your arm over. Just leave your arm like this okay. or like this. Okay. Yeah, or like that, you know, this. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah especially if you're yeah, having, that might be aggravating it. Yeah, yeah. Very possible. That's okay? I, I try to stop it. All right. Excellent. You're welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you guys so much. If you got anything from this video, or even if you just like this view of the Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building, give me a like and don't forget to subscribe. Appreciate you guys.